There are growing calls for impeachment this morning after a new allegation of sexual misconduct against Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. The issue isn't just whether it happened, but whether the FBI knew about it and buried it before Kavanaugh was even confirmed. Tracy Potts is live on Capitol Hill with the details. Good morning. Sally, good morning. Well, first of all, we are not hearing from Kavanaugh, not talking at this point, but President Trump is defending his Supreme Court justice and the book that brought all of this out, it goes on sale this week. The book by two New York Times reporters summarized in an op-ed claims Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh exposed himself to a woman 30 years ago. The book adds the woman declined to be interviewed and friends say she doesn't remember. Max Steer, the classmate who reportedly made the claim, isn't talking. An innocent man treated horribly, President Trump tweets. He should start suing people for libel. Kavanaugh, through the court, declined comment. He has broadly denied any misconduct. I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not in college, not ever. But Democrats are talking. Presidential candidates are calling for impeachment. Others are more cautious. If the facts lead us there, I think impeachment is on the table. You got to get the documents to be able to prove the case. The FBI did not investigate but knew about this second allegation during Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing. So did some lawmakers. It was a poor investigation. It was done wrong because they wanted to get Kavanaugh on the bench. There are a number of people that were not interviewed and I think they should be interviewed. I'm not jumping to a conclusion that he did do this. I'm jumping to the conclusion that the FBI didn't adequately investigate and that it needs to do so right now. No comment so far from the FBI. But this book, these authors have brought out the fact that they uh, do have new corroboration for one of the older allegations from Debbie Ramirez, a classmate, another college classmate who made a similar claim. The authors, the writers claim that there are seven sources now supporting that allegation that, again, Kavanaugh has denied.